Now this is going to work very similar to our previous example and we're going to go ahead and here above this we're going to do another PHP block and we're going to do if post submit is equal to one. So if the form was sent, go ahead and do something. So we'll run our query again. And this time we're going to run an update query. So update nav set. And the update query is a little different than the insert query. Instead of giving the column names first followed by the values, we do them both at the same time. So we're going to do label equals post label and then we do a comma and the next one which is the URL equals post URL and uh, sorry you're not supposed to put those single quotes inside the brackets so take those out And I found that uh, when doing this, it's really handy to just go ahead and copy and paste this a few times. So copy, paste, paste, paste. And remember, I, you'll notice I got the comma in there. So that's important. So we got label, URL, target, target. Position, position and status status and again we can take the quotes off of position and status now this next part of the query is extremely important and this is where we tell it which item to update because if we don't give this a where something equals clause this is actually going to run through and edit every single record so it would change every record in our table to match the values we put in the form and we definitely don't want that so to do that let's go ahead and scroll down here and we're going to add another field here underneath the button we're going to go ahead and put an input field and this time the type is going to be hidden. The name is going to be ID. And value is going to be the nav ID. So we'll copy this here and paste it in the parentheses. So nav ID. Go ahead and close that input. So if you're not familiar with forms, the hidden input is going to be able to send us a value through the post method, but it's going to be kind of sent behind the scenes completely. You're not going to see it showing up in the form. So go ahead and come up here to our query. And now we can say where id equals Post ID. And now we just need to run our query. So result equals mysqli underscore query. Send it the database connection and the query. And we'll go ahead and do our error handling here. 
Um, and something neat about error handling, if you keep the same format to your queries, we can go ahead and reuse some of our code. So we come back here to example seven. Scroll down here, and we're going to take everything from line 53 to line 59 and copy that. So this is our whole error handling. And come over here, and we'll paste that. And we can change added to updated. And now we can go ahead and run this. And we could have run it before, but we wouldn't know necessarily if something went wrong. Let's go ahead and save and upload this. Go ahead and load the page. And go ahead and click on test here. We'll go ahead and turn this to an actual page. We'll call this the FAQ page. And we'll change our position. Let's see, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Change the position to seven. Status will be one. Click on add, which we need to change this button here. And we have an error. Oh, and I see what happened. So now you'll see why outputting the query when we have an error is really nice. Um, because we it shows us here near where our error is. Um, but there's actually no error right here. I'm seeing that the error is actually here. We're missing a quotation mark after FAQ, after the label. So let's go ahead and fix that. Yeah, there it is. Save and upload. And let's go ahead and click on this again. Change this to FAQ. FAQ.php. Position is 7. Status is 1. And we have another error. We seem to have outputted something empty here, which I should have caught on the previous error. And it's a typo. So, again, like my other series, I like to leave some of these errors in because, one, it shows you that uh, even the most experienced people will make typos, but uh, two, it also can show you kind of how to troubleshoot your script. So, hopefully that's the last of the errors. Go ahead and save, upload. And I'll click on test. position to 7. There you go. So we can tell this is a success in, in two ways now. One, we got the proper message here, no errors. But also you can see that when it reloaded the form, it pulled the values that we had put in. So that's good. Now let's go ahead. I know that some of our positions aren't correct, so let's just run through these really quick. Home page is 1, videos is 2, about us is 3, is 4, contact is 1, links is 1. So we want contact us to be 5 and links to be 6. And there's one other thing that I want to point out. We go to say open contact us and maybe we just want to change this to label to be contact. And I click the submit button you'll notice that it loaded the correct label into the form here, but our navigation didn't change. So that might lead you to think that there's something wrong with our script and it didn't actually update, but it did. Because if I go ahead and click on one of these other links, you'll see it changed. And the reason for that is rooted in where we're running this update query. Since pages are loaded, and read from the top to the bottom. When the page loads, it runs our... When you submitted those updates, the page reloads, runs through, outputs the navigation, then runs our update query. Which means that by the time we query the nav for the form, the correct data is in there. 
But when we query the database to get our list of navigation items, we haven't made that change yet. So we'll go ahead and put this up above the body. So we'll go ahead and cut this out from line 52 up to 34. And we'll paste it here. Save and upload that. And there's one more change I want to make before we move on. And that is, let's go back to example 7. And I want to go ahead and put our validation in here. So we'll go ahead and copy line 45 to 19. Come over to example 9. And under the if submit, paste that there. Then we also need another piece. We need the if error is not equal to true. So we'll copy that. Come over here and above the query, paste that. And we'll go ahead and tab this out. And put our closing bracket here. So there, now our validation script is going to run as well. I'm going to go ahead and save as.